It was a Thursday. I remember that very clearly. I was a 13-year-old kid. The last thing I said as I went out the door to Zoe was, I love you. I can't remember saying goodbye to her. I can't remember the words the police officers actually said to me. They just said Zoe had been killed. I grew up like, 10 years in a second. She was on the A1 and she was approaching some temporary traffic lights. A vehicle came up behind them at 60 miles per hour, didn't see the traffic lights and didn't break at all. The pillar where the seat belt is fixed, that had caved right in on her and killed her, so obviously she died of head injuries. I knew that there'd been an accident and somebody had been arrested and he'd been on his phone. People use the word accident, it wasn't an accident. It didn't come about by accident. It was a road crash caused by somebody doing something that he shouldn't have been doing. I pity him because he has to live with the fact that he took someone's life. Every single day it affects me. Everything comes in packs of four and all of a sudden there was always one, one thing left over. I kind of miss being told off by my mum. Benjamin, Paul, Carvin, get to the top of the stairs right this second. And it really is the little things to, you take for granted that you wish you, wish you could do now. From time to time, I, you know, I, I often talk to her, telling her about, you know, things that have happened, things that I've done, things the children have done, how proud she would be of us all. Everything died on that day because that man decided to pick up his phone. There's nothing that is so important it cannot wait. Don't use your phone whilst you're driving.